Hey guys, Ron here. Part 10 is finally upon us. Thank you for making this series one of the most exciting and fulfilling parts of my life. Here's to 10 more. Once again, I brought together three other artists, gave them a prompt, and we all had to create some Pokemon that embodied the description I gave them, which was ambiguous typing. I told my guests to create three Pokemon whose type is very much not evident in their designs. I don't want it to be easy to understand the type of their Pokemon just by looking at them, but they have to make it make sense. You can't just slap some leaves on a monkey and say it's a bug type just because. It'll be really fun to guess the types of these fake mon before they're revealed. Now we're finally going to showcase our fake mon to you guys and each other. Let me introduce these amazing artists. Once again, Moxie2D is here to potentially shake things up, Dead Bedspread is here to spice things up, and our new guest Harry Gold is a fantastic artist you need to check out. Go to the description for the links to these wonderful creators. Now let's finally see the results, but before that, consider leaving a like if you enjoy so I know to make part 11, and check out my Pokemon art playlist which has tons of videos like this where I create new Pokemon. So I'll go first, because this is an unusual video. Probably the most interactive for us, because we get to actually do something other than just say ooh and ah. <laughs> we get to guess. So... Can I just say? Yeah. This is... I don't know about you guys, this is by far the hardest one so really? far. Is it just me? I uh, was so stumped. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the hardest to come up with, but the easiest for me to like just make the fake mine once I had the concept, honestly. Right. Because it's like, also you don't have to worry about it looking like it's type, so you can do anything, really. <laughs> so here it is. Secret. Whoa. Ooh, powerful. Yep, that's ambiguous. So I know what type it is, but any guesses? If it's not flying type, um, then I'm... Totally up the river. Everything I feels like I it's going to be a bait. You know what I mean? Like you see yeah, wings yeah. and you're like, yeah, but he's tricking us, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I have an equation. I think this is a grass type. Well, oh, because of the legs? I think it's based on that particular flower that looks like a bird that I can't oh. think of the name of because it's late, but the legs- Like a, like a bird of it, paradise? I think I have one of those. Because <laughs> otherwise I don't have, this thing could just be like, oh, it's steel type and it's based on some weird lore about something that I have no idea. <laughs> So I'm gonna say it's grass. Are the colors, do the colors look like that as well? Cause colors, colors are giving me mm -hmm. psychic. Oh yeah. Just because it's based on something doesn't mean that you know the type technically. Ugh. That is true. I'm going psychic. I'm taking a risk. I'm gonna say grass. I'm, I'm, I'm getting on that grass bandwagon, I think. Getting some of that grass. Oh, hey, this one was easy to grasp in terms of laying out the shapes cause I wanted to have the body of a bird, but in reality, all of its parts are made up of uh, plants, like leaf wings or legs that are technically stems of a flower. Its body is in fact, just one giant flower with two stems. The face is inspired by a secretary bird while the body is more egret. I want a combination of beautiful and cool with various colors that would throw you even more off and confuse you when determining the type. But of course, there are all colors found in the bird of paradise plant. Oh, Got him! Oh, wow, nice! <laughs> there we go. Maybe we should keep points or something. Got Yeah, I know. What, how'd you do it? Who knows flowers? Every time I do this damn series, everyone knows animals, and now Dead knows flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're based on the bird of paradise flower. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> I have a little one growing. Do we, really? Yeah. My mom gave it to me. I didn't realize they get all, uh, like, the purple and red to them. That's... Crazy. Oh, they're, yeah, they're oh, crazy. Oh, yeah, they, they get some real nice colors. There are different kinds. There's like one that's like more, mostly green and some that are like lighter. This is <laughs> Secret, the Paradise Pokemon, a pure grass type, as you can see. Uh, while it appears to take the form of a beautiful bird, it is in fact a plant based Pokemon. It pretends to be a fierce predatory bird Pokemon in order to ward off the bug types that it's weak to. So it, uh -huh. it just climbs to, you know, on tall trees to bathe in the sun, uh, which replenishes the vibrancy of That's its so petals. Smart. Technically based on an egret, which is like a type of bird that kind of has this shape a little bit. But it's also based on um, the secretary bird. I do really like the shiny as well, how the, the legs are just kind of like literal sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was the, the plan, but... Well, it, the shiny is actually based on the other kind of Birds of Paradise flower that looks more like that. I wonder if uh, you guys, if any of you guys gave your Pokemon contrary. Contrary makes sense for a lot of these Pokemon. I didn't, but <laughs> it does make sense. They could all have it. <laughs> then Moxie gave him OP new abilities. I got really Yeah, made. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. We got Menisplit. Whoa. Oh, cool. Mousehold for Tandemouse if it was a, a plant, but I don't think it's a plant because we just had grass. Hmm. Again, I'm going to say that is bug type. Oh. Those are spiders, my friend. What? No, don't <laughs> tell me it's those little... The little white things you get on your plants. Oh my god, hang on, it's the face on the body? That's that's oh. where my money's going. 
Okay. Well, Harry stuck by me last time, so I'm going to stick with Harry here. I'm going to so, say bug as well. Got two bugs, <laughs> Moxie. Are you a bug guy too? My uh, hilariously, my first instinct was psychic again, but that's got to be a bug type. It's got to be a spider. But I'm. It also feels like it's it's reminding me of a what, what's the thing that's like an onion but not garlic. The garlic. <laughs> 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 Very famous for not being an onion. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll run bug as well. Let's play this one safe. You wouldn't do two grass types, would he? Well, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Now I'm turning the naked man orchid into little mischievous fairies that are up to no good. One is usually the mastermind that has to run away first and has to carry their sibling away from danger. Their orchid flower head also looks like a bonnet, making it look like a baby and more innocent. But they are also like little goblin ears. They have a leaf-like cape on their back that looks like a suit, with patterns that look like vests. They look like gentlemen, but aren't. They are extremely light, so when the sibling is being carried off, they float in the wind. Orchid colors, but a bit more of a natural hue. The stripes look like stripes on clothes, but very well integrated into the design. It is this. What? God, <laughs> man. I've been flim flammed. <laughs> Very makes, that does make perfect sense. Not going to lie, yeah. the bug, the, the spider was big brain. I like I can totally see what you're seeing. Yeah, that would have been crazy if it was a spider. Wait, a wait. Spider. So that's not, the spider part isn't on purpose? It's based on a naked man orchid. Oh my what god. What the hell? <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that's not monetization friendly. I, I see why they're called naked man. <laughs> why do you know about this, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been looking up? Nothing you can prove. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, there are orchid spiders that are supposed to look like orchids. And this is also technically an orchid that looks like a man. It I kind of love and hate this image of the, <laughs> the of like the real plant. Your art is fantastic. And then I just look down and I see these two bros just like, I see them at the end of a hallway. It's like, what do I do? <laughs> they look, kind of look like aliens a little bit. They're That's very uncanny. Menace play, obviously the trickery Pokemon because it does disguise itself as an orchid, but they're also like the size of a flower. So they can just chill on a flower and people don't notice them. Oh yeah, they're tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. So they're two siblings that only care about each other. They like camouflage off as flowers in order to steal food and valuables. And uh, if caught, they hurl dust at their opponent and run away. <laughs> <laughs> one usually Very comes good. up. One of them is like the mastermind. Like they come up with the schemes while the other one just happily obeys. Guess which is which. They only care about each other, about the survival of the others. Like they're really like close to each other and they, they, it's them against the world. And I like the kind of theater mask influence with the exactly, expressions yeah. as well. It almost looks like gremlin ears as well, which kind of like yeah. fits into the uh, yeah. fairy. Exactly. That's literally uh, yeah. why. Even though I know all this origin and stuff, I can still see them as like, oh, it's just two weird spiders. <laughs> like, um, I, it totally looks like a spider. I, I get it. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you didn't notice this is unreal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here's my final one. Sterrier. Oh, oh, my God. Like So like, how is it not a dark type, you know? But it's not going like to be a dark type, is it? <laughs> I almost want to say this is like a dragon. <laughs> oh, does remind me a bit of that Reggie dragon. I'm wondering if there's like a face on the belly because like mm. the chest area does look like eyes and a nose. It does. There's, there's a catch. It could just be normal type because it could just be just a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is a, this is a fun game run. I know, right? yeah, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> No, it just, it looks like uh, Houndoom's aggro cousin. Yeah. <laughs> and Houndoom is already aggro. Could it also be maybe Ghost? Because those eyes don't really feel like they're there. And if there's like a face under there and it's like somehow possessed something or something, I don't know. Is this a bug type? <laughs> <laughs> Bugs are freaky. They could be anything. It's crazy. It does have a stinger. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Is it pointy type? Bumble Bork. Poison. I'm going to go with just my gut instinct on this and just say a dragon. I'm going to go ghost. At the at the risk of seeming weak-willed, I will also go ghost. Oh, oh okay. he's going ghost. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just drawing a pit bull. It's a literal pit bull with Pokemon proportions. 90% of the time was spent figuring out the intimidating patterns. I don't know if they should look like a sharp scars and jagged teeth or flow better with its body. This took way longer than the previous designs. I got closer with the idea to make the patterns look like a scary ghost or ghoul. The eyebrows are the eyes, the pattern around the snout is the smiling mouth, and the pattern on the chest are the claws. But even then, coming up with the colors was even harder. It needed to look normal, but still fantastical. It couldn't have the literal colors of a pit bull, but it also couldn't be the exact same colors as a houndoom. 
I even made the eyes more friendly looking to contrast with the patterns. Starrier is a normal type. Come on! Oh, <laughs> no, I, sh I should have gone with my gut. No. Oh. Yeah. It's just a. No, oh, you kept quiet, Ron, when Dad said that. <laughs> I mean, he's a oh, pitbull. Stereo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, like, people have these, like, connotations with kind of the bigger dogs, like pit bulls and Rottweilers, where they're like, oh, they're all violent, and, like, they're... If they were a Pokemon, they'd be fighting type. Yeah. Um, mm. And or it's dog. having interacted with pit bulls and Rottweilers, it's like, they're just as much dogs as every other dog. Exactly. The markings are literally oh. just for show. They just scare off, yep. you know, opponent, uh, foes, but in reality, it's just, like, really friendly. Uh, and when, you know, someone shady just appears, it just glares at them it does it just yeah. st stares because the patterns do the talking it, it, if attacked though it, it will retaliate with a devastating bite and its skin is very tough too like very it's very hard to like attacks glide off of it basically i love how the ability its two main abilities are just like swapped depending on if it's looking at someone or if someone's looking at it because intimidate mm. lowers the enemy's attack and a guard dog ups its attack if something uses intimidate on it i believe is how guard dog works it basically has intimidate or if it gets intimidated it's like step up and it just gets stronger <laughs> yeah it will it will bite back if you attack or if you like are actually threatening mm -hmm. um but it'll stare for at least a minute first so was there any particular inspiration for the patterns or you just yes the bottom looks like a face too but it's mostly the patterns on the face that are are a face. So like the eyebrows are like ghost eyes. The the pattern around the snout is like a mouth, and then the pattern mm -hmm. on the chest is more like claws. Imagine like a, like a ghost. Uh, okay. Like a, oh yeah, I see it. Like a Pokemon ghost, like from Gen One. When I'm designing a Pokemon, type is is almost everything. It's like fifty percent of the design. Mm, yeah, yeah. And so like I had that taken away from me. I'm like, what? I can't. I, I can't do this. <laughs> Next is Harry. Let's go. That's me. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, come yeah. on. Someone oh, was going to do it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm going to say it's not a bug type. Oh, this is. I How can it not be poison type? It's a bug mimicking a snake or a snake mimicking a bug. Now I'm confused. That's that's the thing I'm stuck on. I think the tongue is the only part that is real and not like a mimic. Obviously, other than the eyes. That makes it feel like it's not bug that yeah, way. Yeah, I don't right? think it's bug. Exactly. Yeah. It's not yeah. bug. What, dragon? I was thinking dragon. Ooh. But it could also just be bug, and we could be overthinking this severely. I do want to say before I guess that this is impressively very Gen 3. I feel yeah. that. Straight up Gen 3 Pokemon. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to say dragon for me. I will go normal, because that face is so <laughs> you know, right? normal. That's my second guess, but yeah. Then I'll say bug, just to make sure we're all, oh, cool. all right. every element. There's sort of there's sort of two parts to the the thinking of this guy. I decided to get a little meta with this prompt. From the likes of Altaria to Tatsugiri to Noibat, there's a clear trend of dragon type Pokemon looking like other animals, but they especially tend to resemble creepy crawlies like Applin, Vibrava, Gumi, and their evolutionary lines. Meanwhile, a lot of real bugs masquerade as other things too, usually sticks or leaves. But some caterpillars actually pretend to be snakes to scare off predators. All this is why my design is a reptile disguised as a bug disguised as a reptile. Uh -huh. oh. ah. A lot of bugs like to pretend to be other things, you know, stick insects, the spiders we were talking about before. A kind, there is a kind of caterpillar that pretends to be a snake. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And so that is how I arrived at having a reptile that is pretending to be a bug that is pretending to be a reptile. <laughs> <laughs> the levels. <laughs> but I love I love that when Pokemon does that, like where it's the opposite of what we see in real life. I love it. I love the name as well. It's just very like to the point, but feels good to say War Mask. It's such a sick name, and then you've got this dopey guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems like this is the trend. Just goofy dragons. Yeah, definitely. And the shiny kind of looks like an apple. <laughs> yeah, I was sort of thinking uh like, you know, those kind of poisonous Red and black snakes. Mm. Oh, wait, it evolves. Wait, how did you... Wait. <gasps> oh, it does. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I it, 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 took me, it took me a while as well. <laughs> oh! Wow. What? My God. Dragon, dragon. It, oh. it could just be dragon flying, honestly. Yeah, because I think dragon psychic might be a bit too obvious. Because I was going to say, that's what it oh. looks like. Ooh. Yeah, because yeah, those eyes. eyes. Like, yeah, I'm on board, I'm on board. But it could be poison. Hmm. But I... No... Yeah, but it, it's purple. Ah! 
No, it may be Dragon Psychic because you know the previous one like sways me- rhythmically and memorize- mesmerizes the opponent. But I'm gonna say yeah, Dragon. You're Flying. right. I'm mm-hmm. gonna say Dragon Flying. Oh, you back. You're backing off of that. I'm going with the uh, Pokedex entry. But that may just be because it's of the patterns, not because it has psychic powers or anything. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a. I'm gonna say it's a normal type. I'll stick with. I'll stick with Dragon Psychic. Continuing with the same concept, the other thing most of those weird non-dragon dragon Pokemon have in common is that they often end up looking considerably more dragon-like once they've evolved. So it only stands to reason that our counterfeit caterpillar would metamorphose into something that resembles a butterfly. Some real moths and butterflies have patterns that look like eyes on their wings, which they use to scare off larger animals. So by drawing on that, we can add a second layer of disguise to our evolved form as well. Dragonfly, Come on. yes! <laughs> yeah, it's just dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> got, got it, Ryan. Continuing, <laughs> continuing the trend of being sort of all show and no, no bite. It is oh. trying to make itself real big and scary, but it's it's still uh, there's still not much to it. It's just a butterfly, but in in reptile form. It doesn't even have teeth. There's so many bits to it too. Like I'm noticing the tail that like coils up and it almost looks like a freaking snail tail. And then there's a little fluff of fur and it's almost got little nails that are just there as patterns. What else? What else are we gonna find in this design? So many things to find. Patterns really just fool you. Well, especially when you're going to have patterns and then patterns doubling back on patterns and then you're yeah. second guessing the patterns that are doubling back on patterns and then you don't know where <laughs> the heck you are. You guys went way more big brain than me. <laughs> Ron's dog has thrown me off so much. <laughs> True. Well, that is that is the it is the, the Bink Trump card at the end of the day, isn't it? It's just like, well, it could just be normal. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Number three. Oh. Oh, my God. Hello. What? Okay, is a slug? This is a bug type. <laughs> <laughs> I have an infamous reputation for saying that slugs are bugs when they aren't. Wait, what are they? I think it's mollusks. See now, yeah, I'm, they're mollusks. I'm, that is correct. Yeah, so like yeah. they're related to like That's squid and octopus mollusks. and stuff. I want to say this might be like poison type or. Ooh, okay. Because a lot of like sea slugs and stuff are venomous. I don't see any venom, venomness, <laughs> venominity. <laughs> but that's the trick. It's also giving like Mimikyu ghost. Like that, what's, uh, do you guys, did you guys watch Avatar The Last Airbender? No, there's of a course. freaking like swamp monster that inside is just a dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do remember that, yes. So it's normal type, type just a dude. It's just a dude. Uh, <laughs> it can't be. Oh, man. It's, it's actually just Larry the Celery Man <laughs> in a costume. <laughs> Why does it want to camouflage as a tree with water? Because the water is throwing me off. It's also the water. It's trying to look like a tree next to water, and then it turns around and it's like surprised to see you, but also maybe it might eat you. I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say bug, though, because it probably is just a slug, and that's just bug type in Pokemon. I'm going to say poison. I'm going to go with the ghost. It makes no sense, but that face is so like... It makes sense. All excellent guesses, gentlemen. Oh, I don't like that tone. My final idea is based on the concept of a desert mirage. While it looks like an inviting oasis shaded by a palm tree, what you see is merely an illusion. If you reached out and touched it, you'd find this Pokemon is actually composed entirely of sand. It's a ghost ground type with leafy looking hair, the watery train of its dress-like body trailing behind it. I imagine it's also the kind to have a jarringly dark Pokedex entry, probably about luring in anyone lost in the desert so it can steal their souls. Some more excellent. Oh, oh, oh what? Oh, I'm gonna say part. Is that ground? It is ground. ghost I was, ground. I was gonna say ground. Oh, that's so annoying. Yes. This like is a mirage. <laughs> this oh. Pokemon is a mirage. Whoa. And like a mirage, while it looks like you know lovely fresh water, it is actually oh. just sand. Nah, it's just sand. That's so good. It is all <laughs> an optical illusion. There you go. It is the tree in the water. God damn it. Nice. Oh, okay, <sighs> that makes so much sense. That was a mi- that was mind blowing. That was really fun. Yeah, that was a good reveal. Oh my god, spooky! One of those kind of kind of cute looking, but will you know steal your soul if you're lost in the desert kind of Pokemon. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love and- the the shiny being full on sand like that too. That's mm, cr- I would yeah. love that. That's crazy. That's what it really looks like with its ghostly powers of suggestion. This is just a good design in terms of like, for example, the coconuts as like the ear buns, the, the you know the yeah. leaves as hair, the the, the whole get up. It kind of looks like a dress, so it kind of looks like a little ghost girl too. Yeah, the whole decks here is like really yeah. um, 
immersive. I can see in like an anime episode when Ash like pulls it up yeah. and it's like, Miragul, the illusion Pokemon. Yeah, when I do ghosts, I do this exact expression, like the mouth, mm. in, like an oval mouth. And the dark and shadowed forehead yeah. and all that. Moxie, Ron is about to dunk on one of us and I don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Cause I've been nice this episode. I, I want to. It's the thing though. You're always nice. The, yeah. Some yeah. of the comments are so weird. <laughs> because you guys are even nicer. Lucky. So it's compared to you guys. It sounds like I'm mean. I'm probably gonna duck, duck on yours dead. Cause it's your turn. Hey. Whoa, dude. That's crazy, man. Hey. Um, <laughs> Saw gamers. It's your boy Deebs. And uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna send these in the reverse order to how I designed them. Makes no difference to us. First time I was on this, um, I led with a crocodile-shaped horse. <laughs> The second time I was on this, I led with a horse-shaped dog. Uh, so it's only natural that we finally get around to a horse. That is a toy mm. steel type. I feel like he would have known that we thought that this thing is a little shiny, looks a little like steel. So I'm going to say rock instead. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I see it. Oh. I, I can see rock. I think I'm going to just for the sake of throwing something else out there. I'm going to go way out on a limb and say fairy type. Why? Fairy. Oh, what's okay. your reasoning? <laughs> how, yeah, how because do you know? what's the logic? I, I do also reckon this is some kind of a toy. Object based Pokemon are often fairy type. So I could see that. Oh, that being well, it could be a ghost. It could be a ghost. Yeah, that inspirited sort of thing. Hmm. It could be normal. There's nothing normal about this. There's nothing normal about this. Wait, maybe it's a seahorse. <laughs> oh, come on. It's coral. It's <laughs> could it coral. Be, could it be like fighting water or something like that? That would be crazy if that's water. I'm saying rock. I'm saying steel. I'll go with my first instinct. I'm, I'm revising to water. I wanted to create a bulky muscular mon that was entirely themed around sweat, making it water type instead of fighting. Research immediately suggested that horses are the sweatiest animals, so that was a really great basis. Really, a lot of the process here was just refining and balancing the rocky and muscular elements. It needed to look chiseled, but not too rock-like. That would defeat the point. What finally got the design to work was placing the eyes on the side of the head. It just looked wrong with them front-facing, probably because real-life horses are prey animals and thus have eyes on the side of their heads to look out for predators. Wowie. Well, oh, what? would you look at that? <laughs> so its body is in a constant state of perspiration because it's sweaty. Uh, it is able to redirect this liquid to its fists, resulting in explosive waves when it punches. In some regions, its sweat is gathered and used as soap due to its antimicrobial properties. <sighs> So, my idea was I wanted to make something that looked really muscular, like a fighting type. What I associate most with working out, besides, you know, getting buff, is sweating a lot. Um, and what is sweat, if not water and salt? And salt is a rock. Ah. Um, you're telling me my reasoning was not even close to being correct, but I accidentally <laughs> got the right type anyway. I googled the sweatiest animal, which is kind of a sus thing to do. Uh, turns, out <laughs> turns out it's horses. Very interesting fact about horses, and I'll send the image here. It's a little bit blurst. Um, horses sweat is oh, white. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, and it's also called lather, which is Ew. where the um, yeah. Shut up. Get out of here. We don't need this. <laughs> You're done. And also sweat contains dermocidin, which uh, attacks bacteria. So the whole like, you know, it's lather. People use it as soap. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> And also, and also, I knew Moxie was here, so I needed to make some sort of bipedal animal. <laughs> Come on. Oh, usually I learn things that I like. This time I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think this would be a popular Pokemon, actually. Yes. It's got personality. People would like it. This is a very, like, Gen 9, yeah. 8, 9 <laughs> this is, yeah. Well, here for me. This is Gen 10. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is Gen 12, dude. We're not ready for this yet as a society. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So will we move on to my number two. If that's what you want. Uh, you know, I think I'll I think I'll just leave now, you know. We've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon number two. Oh. oh. Is it baby type? It could be. Is it another water type? Is it shooting something out of that tube? There, that tube is not just a tube for nothing. What are you, some kind of tube head? <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me tube head. <laughs> what you call him tube head, buddy? <laughs> fire. It's a flamethrower. Oh. Wait. It's dragon but fire. It's like a little dragon guy, yeah. This, it's too obvious to go water and water. Exactly. But it's not. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm going water. I feel like I could squish this in the bath and it would shoot water. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I feel like I could waterboard this guy and he <laughs> blast everywhere. First we have the sweat Pokemon, then we have the squirt Pokemon. <laughs> no! 
no. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's some kind of, is it a tank? Are we, are we looking at like a steel <laughs> fire? Oh, that's so good. Mm-hmm. Is this a tank? Yeah. Well, I regret to inform you that every single one of you is completely wrong. Oh, oh my god. A bulky, grounded Pokemon with cannons and no bird features at all sounds like anything but the flying type. I was thinking of airsoft guns, wind cannons, pressurized air being used to launch projectiles. I thought of animals that have unique interactions with air. Cetaceans have blowholes, frogs have inflatable throats. Finding the balance here was tough. I had it looking kind of devious, but then I figured. What if it was actually devious, but looked super cute and innocent? What ended up bringing it all together was that it also ended up looking like a whoopee cushion. The ultimate air-based prank. That was planned all along. What the- what's wrong with you? I mean, how though? (laughs) 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 Show you're working. Yeah. Yeah. So its body is filled with a gas lighter than air, allowing it to float. It uses this in order to gather its favorite food, berries. While it mostly eats its, its hull, it is also shit. capable of launching berries from its blowhole with devastating oh, force. That's what it's it also doing. does this for fun, making it a nuisance. It's a dart frog, where it is literally the blowgun that shoots itself. Frogs <laughs> can <laughs> swell uh. up their throats, so it fills oh. itself with air and then... <laughs> because I went extra, um, and I forgot to send the first one, so I'll send this one. Um, I animated all of them. Oh! Oh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Okay, now I guess okay, this is four artists number ten. Now it's special. Now we made it special. <laughs> yeah. I gave you the curse and now I'm giving you the blessing. It's also a whoopee cushion. And yep, I see it. I like when flying type is interpreted as air. Like I like when air is used as the flying yeah, type. Yeah, that was my whole thing, because like I think it's only like Celestila, but every other flying type has wings or is like a bird. I guess so. Like no. Oh tornadoes. It can <laughs> so- Oh yeah, tornadoes. Who then turns into a bird. Yeah. So so <laughs> you win. Touche. <laughs> yeah. The idea I had for this guy was he could have like a signature move where it's like Halucha's flying press, where it's like two mo- two types at once. Um, mm-hmm. It does massive damage if he's holding a berry, Damn. and it also gains like a secondary type based on that berry. Mm. Um, but, but it only works once. Um, so it's dark type because he's a little prankster. Okay, so are you ready for mod number three? I think I think you'll get this one. No, okay. I won't. Oh, wait, it's grass type. Yeah, it's got it. Yeah. <laughs> Autumn leaves. That's beautiful. That is really cool. I mean, the horns look like wood, but the exactly. gray parts are what is throwing me. I'm almost getting grenade from the back of it. Yeah. Weird. It could be grass steel, but I'm going to say just grass for now. But that's This is part of the game. You're going to get me with that, but I'm doing it. I'm <laughs> grass steel. <laughs> I'll say grass rock just to play the game. I'm going to go grass rock as well. I knew that I wanted to create a grass type that looked like a fire type, maybe also doubling as a false rock type. My initial concept was this kind of weird, vague, turtle-esque creature with a long, leaf-covered tail that it would wave around. But it was just lacking something. The name of the plant that I based it on, Hot and Tot Bread, is also known as Elephant's Foot. So I turned it into an elephant and turned that long, leaf-covered tail into a long, leaf-covered trunk. And presto! The cherry on top was giving it an Ice cube style ability, mimicking how real-life autumnal trees will eventually lose their flame-colored leaves. Now we're cooking. Nope, it is, ah, it yeah. is pure grass. Pure grass. That's great. Oh, How'd you animate green. this one? It's crazy. Um, so this is hot and trunk. Um, who are known to appear <laughs> in forests that have recently been affected by fires. Their trunks are covered in bioluminescent leaves, mimicking a blazing inferno deterring actual fire types from further destroying the recovering woodland. So it's an elephant that shows up ah, and yeah. protects uh, forests. It is based off of a real plant, which is called hot and top bread, which is also oh. known as elephant's foot. Oh. oh. I thought you were just lazy with your name. Ron, this is going to blow your mind now. The name has hot and tot in it. It has hot in it because of fire. It has ent in it because ents protect oh. trees. It has oh. trunk in it because it's an elephant. Yeah. And trees also and have trunk. trunks. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> you might notice the ability called tree trunk, <laughs> pun intended, <laughs> takes a special attack as a substitute. The attack changes the Pokemon's appearance. So it's basically um, ice cues with a physical attack. And then if it hails, it comes back. Whereas with hot and trunk, when it loses the leaves, if it rains, they come back. And you already know I did art for that. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, I love the thing under there. Um, and they are mistaken for rocks, but um, poke, like birds will like land on their back and they don't seem to care. Do I have to pay you now? <laughs> He's gonna give me $20. I w- I'm serious. I, if this goes past a million views, I will 100%. I'll give him $100. Hell yeah. You heard it here first. Um, so like one of these is like right outside my house, but obviously it's really zoomed in because I don't want to dox myself. So like the second I saw <laughs> oh. that, when I got like the prompt for the challenge, I was like, 
I gotta make a grass type that looks like a fire type. Elephant's my favorite animal, and I love elephant Pokemon too. So this I love as well. Damn. I know. I was like, I was like, I cannot call this thing elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer preferably not. <laughs> also like the use of the uh, the classic Gen One eye. I felt like the prompt and everything was already like a lot that I didn't want to be like. Here's some weird freaky eyeball in the eye. Yeah. Would be like, <laughs> Pink and you'd be like, the eye's pink. It must be psychic type. You know, it's, some, it's like we just need. We're just doing classic Gen One eyes today. What? Moxie's turn. Okay, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Here goes nothing. Wait till you give birth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> we'll see. Not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? Good point. This <laughs> oh is God, a we... Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> I decided I would take the first one very literally. <laughs> You can make them all psychic type and it's all an illusion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so true. Yeah. So I think it could be dragon because dragon has four resistances and those resistances are all of the types that we yeah, see yeah, on yeah. this. Maybe it has an ability though. It could be normal with an ability that makes it immune to those things. <laughs> it could have uh, it could have an ability that gives it four types. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's not beyond me to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> I've watched these videos. This is fun being on the other side. I don't have to say anything. <laughs> I'm gonna say pure dragon. I'm gonna say that it's rock, going off the mm. idea that it's a dinosaur, not a dragon. I'm gonna say normal. I decided early on that I didn't want to do mimicry. I wanted to get really literal with this. So I decided to design a lizard thing. And my original idea was that it would be able to use all the main starter Pokemon types, grass, fire, water, I guess electric, because it really wanted to please people. So it like picked the most popular types to sort of show off with, but the Pokemon couldn't be any of those types. And that kind of only left us with normal and dragon, which would also be too obvious. So during the design process, I was listening to stuff about the YouTube algorithm. And I figured, what if it's normally a steel type robot lizard that algorithmically chooses what type to be depending on the situation it's in and so that's what happened come on discord algo lizard the steel type <sighs> but how are the other things he there? is a man-made pokemon oh. typically used for teaching type matchups to new trainers they can change oh. their type to fire water electric or grass <laughs> based on their ability algorithmic which changes the pokemon's type to best suit the situation out of those four types oh my god i could have easily <laughs> said to not do this thing but i thought it was obvious <laughs> that's why i do these things <laughs> i'm like don't give them an ability that makes them change type <laughs> but no that's how, that's i like how you lore wise this is very good i like it a lot. well <laughs> it's it kind of ties into terrestrialization because the move then is like algorithm blast which like changes types so that could be like terror blast the dinosaur like it's not just the lizard is like so appealing yeah oh, thank you look at the, oh, the silhouette the silhouette is really good yeah it's a strong silhouette yeah thank you i don't know if this is canon or not but maybe oh he, uh, my god. god yeah okay <laughs> I, I i i i told i told you <laughs> I, I, I said he was gonna do like 20 things and he's done <laughs> what is what is this this is like six in one <laughs> okay i expected now, i expected him to do every type not gonna lie so well yeah, in the okay. dex entry it says it is said that some have have been known to go above these limitations but i ain't drawing them. oh my god thank god i because then then i would i definitely have to pay you <laughs> i i love the really subtle detail of how like the the lower shine on the eye changes color with each of them as well oh thank you oh that is a nice idea i think the grass one might be my favorite but honestly these are all bangers like naturally i want to say grass type, but the effects of all of them are really good like the electricity is so yeah. good and water is hard. Water is the hardest to do. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say the water is especially incredible because water is. I don't know how to shade water. Yeah. Honestly, there's a reason I didn't render sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a Pokemon. Oh, okay. That is a Pokemon. That is an EV two. EV two. So it's not fairy type because that is. Yeah, I think fairy and psychic is. Both. <sighs> it could just be electric. Like those things could be made of electricity or something. It could be a dragon. <laughs> I love that that's always kind of an option. <laughs> mm, why don't I have a ch type chart near me? Why don't you know the 18 types off the top of your head, Ron? Yeah, come on, man. I, th I thought you were a Pokemon master. <laughs> but, like, it could just be like, oh, it's water type because it lives at the beach, you know? Like, it, <laughs> it could just be anything. What if just Moxie Honestly? isn't good at this game and it literally is just a fairy type? <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he waited for so long just for you to jump <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Comments, no. he really mistreats me and like, honestly, can you please... <laughs> 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 
The star's got to mean something, right? It's got a star motif. There's a star on its head and on its tail. Psychic is like the cosmic type. But then I'm thinking like Meteor Mash has like stars Ooh, oh. in it. But what if it's steel? What do you do to? <laughs> well, yeah, what, what do you do to steel types? Now I can go rock. I'm doing rock. I can say dragon. Stars are a big ball of fire. I'll try for fire. Ooh. 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 Can I drop the next one without revealing to you the type? <sighs> yeah, you can. That is allowed. Oh, think let's be. go. Yeah. I swear to God, if this is an EV and you've done like seven evolutions, I'm gonna. No, oh no, my no, God, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop all of this. I'll drop one and then the other two together, which might help. Oh my what god! Do you mean other two? No, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's, or like, it's, it's just an stages. effect. It's just an effect. It's just an effect. Okay. 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 Here is its evolution. Wait, it, it is a kangaroo. That doesn't help though in terms of the type. This, the <laughs> so it's Jesus. <laughs> It could be electric. I think electric type. I was going to say electric type. I, I said it from the beginning, electric type. Mm -hmm. mm, because that's the only thing that represents light. See, the clouds could also be like wool with like static electricity. It's a seraph, so it's like... Yeah. Is it some sort of nativity Pokemon? What is going on? <laughs> but that would be fairy type. This is a Pokemon Messiah. Uh, the Messiah is a kangaroo. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Ar Arceus move over. There's a new Whoa. Poke religion in town. I'm actually gonna bust out the type chart this time. It's not gonna help you, Ron. It's not ground. It's not flying oh, because because those aren't real wings. So maybe it is ground. Psychic would be boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if it's a psychic type. Yeah. Cut to it being psychic. What if it's the Antichrist? It's dark type. Oh Whoa. my god. But why would it just be like an ordinary kangaroo looking dude if it's like the Antichrist? Because obviously the Messiah is not a kangaroo. Flawless logic. Uh, guys, it's a fairy type. I'm gonna stick with dragon. Um, maybe I might shift over to ghost. I reckon this guy's just died and gone to heaven. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's funny as. Okay, it's time to bend the rules. Two things. There's no kangaroo Pokemon. Well, Kangaskhan exists, but you can barely see kangaroo in that thing, let's be honest. But also, there's no light type. And I want there to be a light type. Before designing this Pokemon, I started theorizing a whole Pokemon game where Arceus' true form is revealed and it's a light type. And there's this like whole hidden civilization in space and they're all about their light type Pokemon. And this was like their starter mascot Pokemon or something. I wanted to go deep on the five pointed star motif, though the stars on the cheeks were feeling a bit too Pikachu. And to really send it home, I wanted to give it this like power halo that just absolutely screams that this Pokemon does not fit in any of the current types. And I also wanted this to kind of have nods to types that already exist. Like maybe it's electric, maybe it's normal, maybe it's fairy, maybe it's psychic. I think the end result sort of achieved that. So normally I've been told that I break the rules by too many Pokemon. Today I have broken the rules yeah. <laughs> by adding <laughs> the light type. I knew oh. it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you can't do this to me! <laughs> <laughs> X and Y are coming out. Zarius light type confirmed. Salgaleo, Lunales, and Cosma. I told you the type chart wouldn't help you run. Oh. It is. Oh. <laughs> this is the season finale. This really is the season finale of this show. I wanted to do a kangaroo because I knew, like I said earlier, we've got two Australians and that's sick. So I'll do a kangaroo. Makes sense. And I've always wanted a light type. And so when I sat down to start doing this, I started just theorizing how the hell the light type would work. So I've got a whole thing on that. Lumi Hop, a young kangaroo Pokemon with boundless energy. Their halo shines from behind their head when they are excited. And Incandaroo, ever since Dark Souls 1, I've loved the word incandescent. I think that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> and uh, I think Harry said something about Arceus before. Uh, Incandaroo are divine kangaroo Pokemon that are blessed with a segment of Arceus's power. And they take their duties very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> he do be life, he do be fight. <laughs> oh, he was close to the Antichrist. It's 555. Five, five. That's Oh, um, right. Yeah, that was an accident. Where's the sound type raccoon, Moxie? <laughs> or <laughs> <Yeah>. kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what animal this is. You've thrown me for a loop. You couldn't make it nuclear type? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, good point. I think that's probably going to be the next prompt. You have to come up with a type that isn't nuclear, light, or sound. Ooh. Oh, I, I, got lo I got loads. Light is pretty much psychic or fairy. So. Yeah, so I was right. I win. And also no, <laughs> I truly believe that there is a segment that could be cut out for the light type. I truly believe it. <laughs> Ron is gonna just like paste the psychic type logo just over it. Like, uh, yeah. no, 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 crazy. Yes. I said electric. I said fairy. I was... Yeah. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I believe you were right, because I think those, there's two pieces of fairy and electric that need and kind of fire that become light that should exist. So you well, it's, are right. It's, when, it's, it's also very easy to succeed at the doesn't look like a type challenge when you use a fake type. <laughs> <laughs> let's all let's all read the prompt together, everybody. Let's read the prompt. I'm just going to scroll up here, everyone. Let's. Oh, Moxie's let's a lawyer a now. Ambiguous typing. I want you to create three Pokemon whose type is very much not evident in their design. Yeah, he's right. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Boss, they do look like light types. Oh, I was going to say it. that. I was going to say that. Mm. I'm like, there's nothing much to talk about because clearly, it's, yeah, it's very much a light type. Like, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's a very beautiful Pokemon. I, I, I do like light. Yeah, it, it really does represent the type that it is. So, again, that means it isn't ambiguous now that I think of it. But you didn't guess it. <laughs> <laughs> Comments, did Moxie win or lose? I think we all lost a little here. Happy holidays. Each one Please. really was yeah. crazier than the last. I feel like mine was just the tame base one good as the first example, and then we just got crazier and crazier, and <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like, we picked a really perfect order. As it always should be. I'll still never get over the water reveal of the horse, though. Check the description. You know why. There's a secret in there. <laughs> Go check. It's me. Yeah. I'm in the description. What if you put a link to someone's account, but in fact, it's actually a link to uh, Rick Astley? Oh, that's hilarious. It'll totally take them by surprise. What would you call that even? It'll really roll them. So maybe uh, like a, a rolling Rick? I like that. I think that's good. That'll catch on. I need to get royalties on this.